Book review, and this is Angry White Pyjamas by Robert Swigger. Um, I'm not a big fan of Aikido in terms of being um, a workable style for legitimate self-defense, but very, very entertaining book. It won a whole bunch of awards. Basically, Robert Swigger was this out of shape guy living in Japan, and he and his two friends decided to take up Aikido as a way of getting fit and being able to defend themselves, and Robert Swigger took the uh, one-year police uh, riot squad course from novice to black belt in, in the 12 months um, it's a very entertaining book he writes about aikido in a very passionate way to the point where you almost feel like yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna go join my local aikido club um, if you want to join your aikido club do so but don't do it thinking it's gonna teach how to fight um, i will link under here uh, the channel aikido flow which i think is probably the best aikido channel on youtube have a look at some of their clips, they're the best to demonstrate what Aikido is. You'll see why a lot of that doesn't translate very well to legitimate self-defense. Now, some of you may have noticed there's a business card in here, and that is because there was one thing that really stood out when I was reading this again recently. I get that sometimes we make mistakes and on a first draft of something you, you might get the date of something wrong or you might misspell someone's surname. However, I'm um, just going to read this to you and those of you who are familiar with the early days of the UFC, try not to pull your hair out. So this is the paperback, paperback version on page 258. Ahahahahaham! <clears throat> me me me, more that year's Ultimate Fighting Challenge Championship, not Challenge, which took place in Tokyo, ended in a fiasco. Hoist Gracie, the undefeated champion, faced Kimo, prison reform born again Christian kickboxer whose bald muscled torso was mutilated with homemade tattoos. Written across his back was Jesus Saves. So Hoist never fought in the UFC in Japan. Um, the Hoist Gracie Kimo Leopoldo fight wasn't the final. And if I remember correctly, Kimo had the crucifix tattooed on his back and he had Jesus across his stomach. Uh, also, Kimo wasn't bald. He had, like, a, so on top, the sides of the back were shaped, but on top was long and he had it under ponytail. He goes on. Kimo entered the stage carrying a huge wooden cross strapped to his back. This he, this he took off in the ring in a fumbling way that gave an indication of the weight of the crucifix. He then got down on his knees and bailed out his prayer to God for victory, since Kimo's victory in his own obscure theology would mean a victory for Jesus in the modern world. Robert might be reading too much into what was going on there. Hoist Gracie stood and stared from his corner, appalled, as if he had witnessed the Antichrist popping around for a quick chat. Did Kimo enter the octagon after Hoist in that one? No doubt his staunch Catholic voices, staunch Catholic upbringing had thrown him into confusion. His plastic mouth guard popped in and out with agitation. Kimo was tough as old boots, and he took a pounding in the kidneys and around the face, which usually persuaded opponents to change their grip. The opening Hoist always was waiting for. The punches in Gracie Jiu Jitsu arrived like those in Aikido. Aikido doesn't have any punches. <clears throat> Designed to hurt and tire as a form of distraction for the killer finishing blow, not a technique in themselves. Kimo hung on and hung on, but had obviously damaged Hoist in some way. Eventually, the Christian made a mistake, and Hoist choked him out. The only fight I am ever aware of between Hoist Gracie and Kimo ended with Hoist armbarring Kimo, not a choke. Um, but yeah, that was just. Something that, when I was reading it, got me angry. It's you know it wasn't too much of a thing to look up. It wasn't the final fight. It wasn't in Tokyo, um, and and Hoist didn't win with a choke. It was an arm lock. But other than that, good book. You should get a copy of it.